everybody. I am doing fantastic. Let's catch you up. So I'm gonna first start off with saying that if you wanna jump right into the hospital food that I ate, you can jump to this time here. If you wanna jump to my fashion show, <laughs> I'm just trying on different clothes and my first ever bikini that I feel totally confident in, uh, you can jump to this time here. So we are five weeks out now. Thursday will be six weeks, that's Christmas Eve and I'm feeling fantastic. I did go downhill a little bit more. So my last video, I showed you some open wounds and you know, basically showed you the nitty gritty of all the surgeries I had, where all the scars are. Well, a couple weeks ago, I actually had to go to the ER. Basically, I had a lot of swelling in the groin area. And by that, I mean everything down there was as big as it could possibly get. It was so uncomfortable, I couldn't sit, I couldn't walk. All I could do was lay down and it had been getting bigger and bigger for about two weeks. I even went to my plastic surgeon's office and he said, everybody gets swelling down there. The amount that people will build up is going to be different. And unfortunately, all he did was tell me to wait it out. He told me to just be patient, go home, keep my legs elevated and that was it. We were going on three weeks and it wasn't stopping and it was getting bigger. So not this past week, but the week prior, so that Sunday before the week started, I was using the bathroom and something just bursted down there. I started leaking out liquid. That's about as gross as the story will get, I promise. <laughs> I just started freaking out because I wanna make sure I'm okay, I'm not gonna get an infection. Since I'm a veteran and I'm also in the Navy Reserves, I called up the VA hospital and they told me to go ahead and go to the ER. Not a lot of doctors have seen swelling down there before, especially you know, you're coming from like plastic surgery, so it's not really their department, but they really wanted to help me out because what they do specialize in is infections. And they could tell that I was super inflamed. I was really red everywhere. The open wounds that I had that you had seen in prior pictures, they weren't healing properly. And you know, when stuff is just left like that, it just takes so much longer to heal. So what they did is they admitted me into the hospital and said they're gonna give me IV antibiotics and that that should help. And I stayed there for six days. So Sunday morning I went in and I got discharged Friday afternoon. I felt incredibly better. Um, all the swelling went away. What they did for those six days is give me two different IV antibiotics. And I would say by day five, it was completely gone. And a wound nurse came in and showed me how to take care of the wounds a little bit better using like antibiotic uh, ointment and um, silicone bandages. I had two open wounds like on the corners, right where the thigh lift meets the tummy tuck, so that T mark, because there's so much pressure on both sides there of where the thigh comes up. It, it just like split, you know? So one wasn't as bad as the other one. One of them is healed pretty much all the way and the other one I'm just working on. So right now, everything is amazing, looks terrific. I feel amazing. I just have one bandage that I change out every day and that one's healing up really well too. So I would say a few more weeks and I probably will just be putting on scar cream only and that's it. You know, my plastic surgeon did a really good job on where he placed my lines at and you know, I think that my breast lift looks really nice, but his aftercare was just a little bit rough. You know, there was just no empathy for my pain and what I was, you know, suffering through. There was no guidance on how to make it better. He just said to wait it out and I could have been waiting for months. Swelling just wasn't going away. Um, and then I went in the hospital and it went away in five days. Complete turnaround. And I have felt 100% better ever since. I feel so good now, like better than I did even before I had surgery. I went to my PO box and got a bunch of packages and letters that you guys sent me and I'm so excited to open them. I've been saving them for the video so we can do it together. So we'll do that 
at the end. So while I was in the hospital, I tried to stay keto and the VA hospital, let me tell you, they had a whole menu that I was able to order from every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it was just from 6.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. Whenever you wanted to eat, you would just call from your bed and they would bring the food right to you. And you could, they made it fresh. It was just like anything from the menu that you wanted. So it was really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys all that, kind of what I ate. I made a few keto mistakes, but I was in the mood for something sweet. So, <laughs> so I know it's just hospital food, but it was actually tasty. And I feel like any meals I can show you might give you tips of what you can make at home. Good morning. I am just waking up now in my hospital bed. I actually slept really well. I have TLC on right now. Watching Say Yes to the Dress. And I just ordered a breakfast and it got here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I got an omelet with cheese, one sausage link, one bacon link, water. I did get some yogurt. So normally I wouldn't eat yogurt like that because it usually has sugar in it. But I got it because I wanted to um, take in some cultures. I thought that would be good for me right now. 21 grams of sugar. Maybe I'll only eat half of it because that is a lot of sugar. And then I got a side of sour cream and that's just to add a little extra fat to my meal to keep me full today. For lunches, a lot of times I got salad with some tuna salad on the side. I also got some of these sugar-free cookies that you see on the tray that are actually pretty high in carbs because there's no fiber to subtract. So if you only subtract sugar alcohol, you're still looking at 18 grams of net carbs. So I stopped getting those and this was mainly my breakfast every morning because it's so good. And this is one of my lunches was cod with some tartar sauce, some mixed vegetables. Here we have soup. A lot of pot roast I had. They had broccoli, mixed vegetables. Sometimes I got gravy, some coleslaw. I got a lot of sides of peanut butter usually just because I could save that and eat it throughout the day as a little snack. Because I wasn't moving around a lot, just kind of stuck in the bed, I made sure that some of my meals were really light, maybe just a salad or some grilled chicken. Then you're never gonna believe it, but on my fifth day, I got a roommate in my room and it just so happened to be Randy Finoli's mother from Say Yes to the Dress. She was actually in my room hanging out. He gave me an autographed picture and yeah, <laughs> so crazy because I had been watching Say Yes to the Dress all week. So now I'm gonna show you guys some outfits, kind of show you what my body's been looking like. I have this really cute dress on that I wore to church this morning. Gonna put on a few outfits for you, including a bikini. <laughs> it's just been really fun to get dressed and enjoy my clothes. You know, I always loved these clothes, but there would be certain areas that I wouldn't love that wouldn't fit right. And now everything just feels awesome in every area. And I just, I've never felt this way before and not think about, you know, what my body looks like or if I have to sit a certain way or cover up a certain way. I can just be free and just have fun. Ugh, I don't know, it's, it's just a hard feeling to describe, but I feel really blessed to have this second chance. I feel like I got a whole new start and that's something I didn't think that I'd ever have. You know, when you get so big and you've stretched your body out so much, you think that this is it. Even if I lose the weight, I'm still not gonna love my body. You know, I messed it up, I destroyed it, I damaged it. I'm, I'm damaged goods, you know, and I felt that way for so long, but I knew I had to lose the weight anyway. So I just did it and then I still kind of felt insecure and I don't know. And now I feel like I have this whole new body that I don't ever want to damage again. You know, I don't ever want to disrespect it by overeating and not working out. I can't believe that I get to have a second chance that, that I even deserve. <laughs> I just can't believe that, that I get that. Like, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's hard to explain. To feel like fit and healthy and happy. I'm so thankful for the body that I had because it took care of me and it was still able to be strong even after all I had done to it. I'm so thankful for my new body and I just can't wait to continue to take care of it. I don't wanna waste time. I remember tonight I found something here with you. 
Running by the roadside, wait up for me. I'd go anywhere that you do. Put it all out in the open. Now we don't have to control it. Put it all out in the open. If it's only for a moment, it's a lifetime of emotion. Put it all out in the open. Hey guys, just wanted to show you Sam and I's new trick. This is the year I'm gonna finally lose 100 pounds. Hopefully. <laughs> that's it for the juicy stuff of this video I'm gonna go ahead and open up packages and the letters that you guys sent if you want to hang around otherwise if you want to sign off now have a happy holiday season and um, I won't be doing much for Christmas this year I'll just be hanging out at home because I wasn't sure how well I was gonna be at this time but I am feeling good so I might go visit you know some family members I still have around here that aren't too far so I'll stop by and say hi and that's pretty much it but It'll be a very Merry Christmas because I am feeling fantastic and I am so blessed and thankful for all that I have in my life and for you guys. So if I'm not back with another video before Christmas, happy holidays to you guys. Have a great time, be safe, and let's go ahead and open these up. All right, I'm gonna start with this card from Stan and KD. It did come opened, which I don't know if it was their fault or mine because I kind of threw everything in a bag, but. Stan, Katie, Yukon, and the feathered gals out in the coop. <laughs> I used to rent a room at a house that had a chicken coop, and I loved it. Claire would go out there and just lay down with them. She wouldn't even chase the chickens, um, and it was really funny. I just remember how cute they were, and you can kind of just guide them in and out of the coop. They follow you around like a little dog. <laughs> thank you so much for that, very sweet. From Chad, oh, thank you, Chad, for this sympathy card for losing Samantha. Oh, I miss her so much, I really appreciate that. Who is this? Oh, there's no name on the cover. Let's see. Sympathy card. Inside you sent a little ring of pearls and it says, this is to remember Samantha, that pearls represent purity, humility, and innocence. Everything our dogs represent. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Heather. Okay, Mary Ann. Oh, this looks like one that you made with deepest sympathy. Oh, I love homemade cards. I used to make these all the time and I've just been slacking. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Okay, so now we have Amanda, and I know Amanda, you sent me a package as well. I don't know if you guys noticed this blank pin board back there. I want to put all of these cards that you guys sent and all the letters that I've ever received in the past, I'm gonna go around and collect them all and just pin them all up there as just, you know, a reminder to me of you all and just how thankful I am of all you guys. Never expected, you know, my channel to get big. I had this idea of just helping out a few people to say, hey, give keto a try because it worked for me. And now I got all you guys here and just seeing all the people that you know, are feeling motivated and getting out there and losing weight. And man, um, it's just so cool. And you guys help me out sticking with this as much as I help you out. So it goes both ways. Lots of little goodies. Oh, a nice long letter. I love long letters. I'm gonna read this later. Oh, a Starbucks gift card. Thank you. There's a little yoga pad, good vibes only. You know I love a good romantic Hallmark movie. Different little toiletries. Claire got a little Santa Claus. I'm gonna give it to her in just a second. Oh, ornaments. So three ornaments, believe, wish, hope. Perfect. Thank you so much, Amanda, for everything. And oh, let's give this to Claire real quick. Look what Amanda got for you. A Merry Christmas, little baby. She doesn't play with toys as much as Samantha used to, but. I'm sure she loves it. <laughs> Linda, oh, another sympathy card. And you wrote in here that you're just starting keto, so good luck. I hope you love it as much as I do. So sweet. It's a little Sammy Angel ornament. Just thank you, Linda. Okay, so this one is from Redmond Life. I remember one of you telling me that you were gonna send me some seasonings. Write me a comment down below and reminding me who you are. This is organic garlic pepper, organic seasoned salt. Awesome. Thank you so much. From May, 100 Days to Brave, Devotions for Unlocking Your Most Courageous Self. Wow, what a beautiful book. I don't know if this could come at a more perfect time, May. I'm really excited to read this. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody again for everything you sent and you don't have to send anything. Thank you for just watching this video. I'm not the best at replying back to everyone. Definitely not the best at checking my email. But please know I'm so thankful for you all and I will see you guys again soon. Have a great holiday.